Hi guys, this is Xiaomi Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm actually going to talk about why you need to play champs absolutely this week. We also have more good content from EA. At the end of the video, I also have rank 2 rewards for you guys. I actually clutch rank 2. Of course, technically speaking, I choke rank 1. So, yesterday, actually a few hours before content dropped, we had leaks whereby... We knew that a team of the year icon was coming, right? We were speculating, people were speculating we're gonna get Rio, Vieira, Mateus. We're all wrong. We're actually gonna get the uh Peter Check SBC instead. So of course he has all the goalkeeping play styles. Now if we take a look at the price itself, it's really just five squads. If you take away the bronze silver as well as the 81 what so it's a 85, 86, 87, 87, and an 88. So notice that Except for the 88 rated squad, all of them actually require your team of the week to actually form the bulk of the cost of this SBC. This SBC in total comes up to about 450k to complete. So if we take a look at the price of the tradable Peter check, just last Friday, I believe, he was up at about 585k at his peak price. Given that the SBC is about 445 or 450k i would say that it's actually from a value standpoint it's actually worth it to complete because he's cheaper and fodder is just so so easy to obtain now because of that right like he's really good value right his tradable version absolutely tanked in price he went from about 550k obviously before content drop people have gotten win of it because he dropped like about 20 to 25k before content drop after his sbc was dropped he went all the way down to about 289k so currently he's right around 300k or so that is when you know that this sbc is actually very good value and a lot of people actually say that he's the best goalkeeper in the game itself so for me i think goalkeepers are always a very funny a breed of players they, pro they possibly are the players that divide the most opinion on the game itself some people would say that check is the best goalkeeper in the game others would say that you know check is rubbish he can't even save a word document so you know it's really hard to tell because sometimes the servers are terrible sometimes ea does patches whereby they nerf the goalkeepers so it's actually very very difficult to tell i of course suggest to you to go and try out the loan is just an 81 rated squad or you can just get the tradable version since it's only like 300k very very cheap before you actually commit to the SBC. try them out for about 10 to 15 games i'm actually gonna be doing that so that i can get a very good gauge of whether he's actually good or not and i will let you guys know whether he's actually good because right now i'm still using go kota he has played in my team for about i think 800 over games and he's actually very very good so i'm gonna let you guys know how good peter check is so um the thing is, I would say don't rush to complete his SBC. Why do I say so? Because I've actually seen a lot of Peter checks, right, from the level 40 icon player pick. I, be I believe that um, most of you are probably right around level 30, 31, right? I'm actually level 40. I can basically get him done uh, or rather basically get the icon pick later on. So I've seen a lot of Peter checks being put from this icon pick. So... If you're thinking about doing Peter Check, make sure you redeem your icon pick first and then see whether you actually pack him in this. If not, it's going to be really painful. So of course, with that SBC, as, we've, as we all know, right, goalkeeper SBCs, whenever they come out and they prove to be of very good value, right, the goalkeepers really crash hard in price. Ika Casillas, widely regarded as one of the top 2-3 to three goalkeepers in the game, 457k, right, he went down to about 290k. Right now, he has rebounded back up a bit. In my opinion, Van der Sar is the best goalkeeper in the game. I think hands down, he's the best goalkeeper in the game. He also tanked a lot in price. 400k all the way down to about 278k. For him, right, he hasn't really rebounded. I, I would suppose that that's because he's probably more common than Casillas. Just remember that I don't think it's actually a good time right, to be buying your goalkeepers because we all know that the easiest thoughts to pack are actually your goalkeepers and I'm quite sure that we'll be getting quite a few so I don't expect them to to bounce back up too much we did also get the UEFA Maki matchups for the second leg uh, I've actually already completed it it's PSG and Barca as well as Dortmund and Atletico Madrid 
So just go ahead and get it done. I think you have some very good packs there. We did also get some other player picks, right? Your 85 plus player pick. You can do it three times. It's the same requirement. Um, 84 rated squad. The thing is, I remember EA actually previously, they, they have done this before whereby they gave us a player pick pack. So it's basically a player pick, but it's a pack in the store, which means to say that you can complete this and then if and as and when you decide to open up this pick, right, it's actually a pack in a pack form, but when you open it, it's actually a pick itself. So I don't know why EA don't do that because I'm not really sure how many people really want to do this right now because you might want to continue opening up your bronze and silver daily upgrade packs, like, like what I'm doing every single day. So I don't know why they don't do that because um, it's quite unlikely that people will be doing too many of these and then saving, waiting for the thoughts to release on Friday itself. Right, so I think that's something that they possibly could have done better. And then we did also get, as expected, right, the return of the 81 plus player pick. So again, it's the same requirements. Again, if you need fodder, go for this player pick. This, this player pick is clear of your 80 plus player pick. The pack weight is just way, way better for some reason, even though it's only just one rating difference. Now, we did also get finally our warm up cup, which EA has been teasing for a very long time. So, you know, you have a lot of um, league specific packs like your Premier League, your five major leagues, right? Bundesliga, League One, and so on and so forth. And then, of course, you get some really nice XP. Now, the unique thing, right? Or uh, actually, the good thing is. You don't have to um, do it like the previous one. You guys remember the previous cup? You have to score headers. You have to score from outside the box. You know, for people like me, it's actually a little bit harder to complete. So if it's just playing the games and winning the games, it is way simpler. Now, the funny thing is, or the unique thing is, you actually have to play mystery ball. Um, yeah, it's actually a mystery ball requirement. And then the max overall rating is 93. You can't have any 94s. Get ready to face loads of team of the years because you're allowed to have two lone players. So if you guys don't know what is the mystery balls rule, it's basically very simple. Whenever the ball goes out of play, you can get a dribbling boost or a shooting boost or a speed boost or a combination of all boosts. You can also have something like, they call it the multiplier goal. So when you score one goal, it counts as two goals. It's basically for you to have fun, right? So um, it was a little bit confusing because if you take a look at the objective itself, there is actually some requirements for you to score a certain amount of goals. And some people are actually confused because when you score one goal and it's a multiplier of two, on the scoreboard, it shows as two goals. But actually when you come here to the objective itself, it doesn't it doesn't say so right it doesn't say so um actually it's it's quite simple right whatever that you score right you score however many goals let's say you score one goal right they're just gonna count as one goal don't count the multiplier right just count the actual number of goals that you actually score so i think that is the thing to take note there so we do also now know that um, as expected, right, there will be a change of rewards as usual with TOTS. So this was the loading screen or the pop-up that you will see when you log in. So it's basically saying that there will be changes to your foot champ rewards starting this Friday. That is the reason why you must absolutely play foot champs this Friday. Score battles will be changing rewards on Sunday itself, Div Rivals next Thursday in line with the um, new season. So... One thing to take note is that the champs finals are actually extended, are actually delayed until 8 p.m. British time, British summer time, and then they are actually extended by 24 hours. So to put it in layman terms, it, it will actually start two hours after content drop on Friday, and then also um, they will actually end on Wednesday, uh, 8 a.m. UK time, right, during the third season. So you actually have lots of time to play to space out your games so maybe you can play like five games every single day to get to 20 games in four days very easy i think very very stressful so i think that's that's fantastic right it's less strenuous for for people so the reason why i say that you must play foot champs is because we have the return of your red player picks and and this time when we have the new promo team out on friday itself 
within a couple of two within two hours right you can basically get your rewards once you have started playing your foot champs so you can basically pack your promo cards in your foot champ player picks especially and packs as well so if you take a look at um, last last year, right? This was the community thoughts. So we had these players come into packs on Friday as well, and then they were in the player picks and packs, especially especially the player picks, the one of four. It's actually absolutely great for people who love to pack all these brand new cards. And if we go on further, these were actually the rewards, right? Rank five, thirty k, fifty k pack, one hundred and twenty five k pack. As you guys can see, two thoughts player pick, the major league one of three. And then for rank 4, we have 50k coins, 3 TOTS player pack mix, right? 2 TOTS player pick, 1 of 4 this time. For rank 3, same thing, right? But you actually get uh, more 50k packs and of course more coins as well. So for the people who are top top players in the game, you get 3 player pick for TOTS, 1 of 5. And then for rank 2 is 1 of 5, but you only get 2. So these kind of rewards, right, are sure to get people hyped for the game. That's the reason why I feel like if ever there was a time for you to play champs, right, this is the best time. And what better way than to bring back the classic red player picks, which everybody loves. So I think there is going to be lots of hype on the game. A lot of people will get on the game. Some people might have already, you know, stopped playing the game for two to three months. But I'm very, very sure that they will actually come back to play the game. And of course, when that happens, it makes excellent um, trading opportunity. So... Talking about that, talking about um, the trading itself, right? I would say that, you know, the market in general, right, is it's going it's going down. I think people are really afraid of what might come and they are not sure um, what will happen. So it's quite uncertain and a lot of people are basically going untradeable right now. So I wouldn't hold on to any tradable cards. Just go and sell your tradable cards. And of course, today is the return of the Champions League games, right? Along with the... UEFA marquee matchups. So if we take a look at the players itself, so just you know, we have uh Barca and PSG, right? So Donnarumma and Pedri. I believe the second leg is at Barca's home ground, so Barca is the other favorites. And then we have um Sule as well against Jimenez, right? So I believe that this is at Dortmund's home ground, but Atletico Madrid actually leads 2 0. So again sell all these players before the game right sell into the hype do not do not hold on to it and of course we do still have the showdown sbcs right more specifically i would like to talk about um Mukiele because i've heard a lot of good reviews about this card even though i feel like psg is unlikely to make it because it's 2-2 right and then the second leg is at the no cam i think that even without the upgrades right he's actually still a very good player French PSG, you can never go wrong with that. So if you're deciding between Sergi Roberto or Michele, I will still do Michele because I don't think Sergi Roberto is great in game. So whoever gets, whoever goes through to the next round gets a plus two, right? It's as simple as that. So um, let's take a look at Fodder itself, right? If you were ballsy enough, right? I did mention in my previous video that I probably wouldn't touch your higher rated folder but because we have the return of your icon pick right your 88 plus one of four this time right they actually did pretty well right 11k yeah 11k to 12k i think they seen like about a 2k yeah about a 2k rise so i i will most definitely not be investing in your higher rated folder ggs if you did um your 87s and higher all went up by quite a bit I would, again, just focus on your lower rated folder, right? Just go for your 84s and your 85s. I think they are the best rating to invest. And I think especially all the upgrade packs that we'll be getting, the league-specific ones or the position-specific ones will definitely require your lower rated folder. And then as for Team of the Weeks, you guys would also realize that a lot of Team of the Weeks are required. Like the Peter Check SBC, right? Almost all the segments, except for the last squad the 88 rated squad actually requires your team of the weeks but team of the weeks are a very um it is kind of dangerous to buy team of the weeks because as we move into tots ea actually would allow you to to do to put tots into sbc instead of team of the weeks right they will be team of the weeks or tots so you know team of the weeks are kind of risky 
really, you know, I wouldn't really buy them because thoughts will be coming this Friday. And by then, if you're still stuck with your team on the weeks, you're going to be in big, big trouble. But there might be a window like today or tomorrow for you to get to get your team on the weeks and to sell, especially if they are required. And, you know, it's high risk, high reward. Right. So some of the content, let's talk about the content that we could be seeing today. Right, your 88 plus campaign mix upgrade actually goes away today. I'll be expecting something along these lines like a gamble pack or a party bag. Might get an e fix pack, maybe. Um, and then possibly it might be like a 5 or 86 rated squad, maybe with one team of the week. So that is some of the, the content that we can be seeing. Now we did also get a leak yesterday, right, for the new evolution. So this is the one that I'm actually talking about. So it's a fullback evolution. So Hope Police actually leaked this and he never gave any requirements. But if you were to go on to the footbin page, right? Sometimes it's really easy to tell, right? Which are the cards that people are really interested in, especially your goal cards. Just go to footbin popular page, right? And you'll be able to see um, previously we actually have Mandy here. And if we take a look at Mandy's price, he absolutely shot out, right? 2.5 all the way to about 8.5k. I saw him selling about 9.2, 9.3 before he dropped back down. So again, um, I will actually sell these cards before the actual evolution come out. In fact, right, I actually packed him quite some time back. And uh, I sort of expected him sooner or later, right? This guy is going to go into a SBC. Right? He's probably the hardest 82 to pack. So I will be selling my Mandy very, very soon. Um, yeah, and I'm also lazy listing my Lee Malu as you guys can see. Right, I have so many of him, and it's good to sell, right? Possibly, hopefully, we get something good. So yeah, just sell to be safe, and of course, because we are going to be getting this this evolution. If this evolution is free, right, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble because your left backs will drop big time. Even your top top tier left backs, like. Kachawi, right? Teo Hernandez. I believe that they will be definitely be impacted in terms of the price. Your your mid tier left backs, especially right, your lower tier, like your hundred k left backs, right, like, like your Ian Madison. I can potentially foreseeing him going down by half price if the evolution right is actually good and cheap or free. So I wouldn't really hold on to any right backs or left backs. I think that is um very very risky. So yeah, just 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 be careful there. So talking about leaked packs, right? I want to talk more about some of the weekend leak rewards. I've actually already spoken about this previously, but these are some of the new packs um, that were added, right? Your champ, uh, champs live thoughts guarantee, live thoughts player, uh, your three player pack. So this is possibly for people who have, who are ranked three and above. And then we have the league specific packs that I'm talking about as well. And we have your thoughts guarantee pack. This is, I would think that this is very likely coming as an SBC. We usually get this every single year. And these are the brand new packs, right? The big boy packs. Now, there are so many higher rated for the packs. 87 by 5, 88 by 5, 87 by 3, 88 by 3. My guess is probably, again, there are probably rewards. Um, maybe for, for rivals, possibly, if I had to... As a guess, and look at this 8520. This is most definitely, I would think, coming as an SBC. I don't don't really know what does we 80 plus player pack um stand for. Right, we we will see. Let's see what the what the people are saying. Yeah, we don't we don't really know what. So yeah, that's why I say go go ahead and craft your big boy SBCs. It's gonna be really really easy, especially if you are in the higher divisions. It'll be so easy for you to craft any SBCs. And we actually also did get the Florenzi SBC, which I think is, again, excellent, excellent value. Of course, you know, 3-star, 5-star, um, kind of meh, but he has excellent work rates. Skill moves probably don't matter that much if he is a central midfielder. So he's going to be great as a box-to-box -box midfielder. You can try him out at right back as well. He's always a pretty meta card, right? And I love it that he has five of the six defending um, play style. So just do him. Cheap and uh, cheap and good. About 125k. So I want to talk about the store packs, right? I don't, I don't know whether you guys can see. It's called the 
epic historical encore pack 750k coins or 4500 FIFA points about 40 plus dollars so this actually contains four winter wildcard icons so I would say right again I've seen the pack weight on this and it's and it's quite terrible really I, I would say save your coins possibly doing thoughts that might be better packs that are actually coming coming out right don't don't waste your coins or don't waste your hard-earned money so yep we did also finish manage to finish rank two on the on the champs right so let's go to the rewards this is the team that I actually finished rank two uh like i said probably gonna do the uh, peter check sbc to replace my gold quota he has been a loyal servant to the club i think he has like 800 over absolutely one of the best goalkeepers i've used better than some of the other special goalkeepers and of course i will be doing Zambrota. so i i will be working on the um tactics and then i will actually go and post it i i think quite likely i will be posting it during the thoughts uh, period so do look out for the tactics itself i believe a lot of you have been um, asking for it let's go ahead and open the one of 484 plus of course the best we can hope for is just team of the weeks given that we don't have anything in packs right now the campaign mix would be really interesting like i mentioned mix w we'll take that team of the week uh Actually, my club is actually running a little bit dry from the uh, team of the week. I actually had a lot, but did a lot of SBs. And we'll have the mix campaign as well. Alright, great. I'm just going to take her for fodder. I have to press. Last one. Alright, Stanway. I think lightly I'm going to go for her. Yeah. Great fodder. So that's all from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Um, there will be a lots of good thoughts content upcoming, and I'm really, really excited for thoughts. I think we'll see lots of good player SBCs, lots of good gamble packs, and I'm here for it. I hope you guys will be too. And if you guys want to be here for thoughts as well, do hit that sub button, and I'll see you guys around. All right. Take care.